Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Scrap Backwards. And this week, Adam and I are scrap lifting each other. And I was really glad that we decided to do that because I, as soon as I saw his layout for the um, Dotty About Flair and Spiegel Mom Scraps, um, collaboration, I immediately knew I wanted to scrap lift this layout. This is to me one of the most perfect layouts I've ever seen. And I will tell you up front that I'm not going to be doing the stamping that he does along the sides, but I may find some things to do that add some interest out there. And it may be as simple as uh, splatters, but I have cut some papers that were in my kit, and um, I, I've I've got I had enough paper in these patterns to make the four squares, and so I'm just going to kind of layer them up. I'm going to layer the papers on each other. This top sheet is a an Obed Marshall Fantastico pattern. And the, the middle sheet, which is the kind of uh, creamy whatever, um, I don't know. It's from a pad, and I have no idea where it came from. But um, I'm just going to kind of And the same is true of the orange polka dot. Um, what my idea is, I have two photos. Adam has two great, big, beautiful photos that kind of fill the frame. And then two that are um, grid spaces that are left open. And they're available for decorating or setting up scenes as he did with his, with those adorable little penguins from Pretty Little Studio. Um, and I'm gonna do something sort of like that. Mine is gonna be a summer layout. And I actually, truly went backwards uh, here in my kit. I had this paper right here that is damask love and it has all these pieces of fruit on it. And I had already pulled this out and decided that I was going to um, use those fruits to do um, a craft plus challenge, which was to use craft and then include fruit in your layout. <laughs> so that I'm actually gonna use enough of the fruit that I think it'll it'll work here. And I've got the craft. Let's see if I can get a bit of foam. Let me kind of do bits like that. I probably need to kind of cut a bit off of there. Because they're um, these pages, these uh, grid blocks are three layers of paper. I don't need as much foam to lift them up. They won't kind of bend back like you might expect uh, if it were a thinner layer of paper. So it's gonna work. And I am going to use sequins the way Adam did as um, kind of down along the bottom of a couple of my two empty um, pages. But 
I won't make you sit through all of that. Let me get these kind of spaced out. And once I've decided that they're good, I'll glue one down and then we'll base everything else off of that one. I have, um, there are a few things that I especially love in, uh, in Adam's layout. One of them is I just think those two little houses are as cute as they can be. So I've got a couple houses that I came from Bramble Fox. I have a, a whole slew of summery Bramble Fox pieces but I've picked out for sure these two little houses. Um, and I've also got this, um, this van and palm tree were glued down to the box that Jojo Kelly made for me, but I decided I wanted to use them on the layout. And I'm thinking my scene is gonna be maybe like so i have one more layer of um if this were going flat on the page and you can probably hear reese barking and i'm not sure why she's barking it's a little worrisome um it usually means somebody's delivering something or somebody's getting home and I don't think anybody's supposed to be coming home. I'm just gonna get some more, another layer of um, foam and put over on this side. So I think I'm gonna do this and then kind of cover up that happy summer bit. It has some foam behind it, but it was stuck down onto the outside of the container that Jojo gave me as my secret sister gift. So I'm gonna maybe do that right there. I'll move it up high so that um, so that I can put my, have room for my layers of my layers of, uh, of sequins. Okay, so that's one little area done. I'm going to put this guy right here. And I actually, like I said, I, I went backwards from the color scheme of my kids. I had 4,000 beach photos and I found beach photos that had orange as the primary color, orange. And then these are the Incredibles shorts, so they're a dark red. So even if I add some red to this, that would kind of be okay. Let me um, put some foam behind that photo. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna just go ahead and tape it up and lay it down as if that um, tropical leaf paper is its mat. Now, the other photo, there was no way I could make a square photo out of it, so I'm gonna kind of orient it to the right, and then that leaves me room to do some embellishing over here, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do, 
but my, uh, the fruit pieces kind of, um, appear to be acceptable. I also wanted to use, now in this, uh, pattern paper here, there's a pink and there's a corally pink and kind of orangey, and then another pink and a yellow and another corally color. So I decided that this color, while it isn't orange, I think it's going to be okay. And this has been on my desk. It's from, um, uh, what is it from? Um, oh, vintage artistry. Um, trying to think it I want to say p13 but it isn't p13 it's um, I'm gonna put that a little bit wonky and then I'll build up the sequence kind of around there and here you know, down here okay I have this little frame right here which could go kind of wonky over there, and it's craft, so it would be perfect for that. But I think I'm gonna cut it. Because I really don't want it to go over the, um, the photo. Let's see. If I dry fit it and put it right here, then I can do some embellishing. Um, I cut it too much. I should have cut the the most more, more of it over here because I would like it hanging off. But I think what I'm going to do is I'll just lay it down and then I'll figure out some embellishments. Um, I like the colors that were kept here. I'm going to do this kind of like that, and I'll um, expect you all to be crossing your fingers that that works out. Uh, I've got this little piece of a frame that's left over from a project, and it kind of has a little bit of a crafty kind of look to it, so I think it will um, blend in nicely, and I do like the tabs that Adam used. Now, I've got some tabs on my sticker sheet, and we'll get to that in a minute. I'm just gonna lay on some of the things that I kind of decided before um, starting to film. Okay, so for instance, I've got this little red crab guy and on a flare, and he could cover the yellow popsicle. And there's that little bit of red that when you add it kind of that close to the, um, to his swimsuit, it just seems to work. Okay, that's good. Now, I have a kind of pink grapefruit piece right here that could go there. And I kind of like that. I'm just going to put this on the frame and then I'll lay that on the best way 
I want the, it to show that there is a frame there so that you can see that piece coming down. Number one, it's craft, and I think that's a, an important thing. Now, do I wanna use this? I don't think so. I think I wanna leave this as it is and then maybe do the, um, the banner type things. So, before I do any more, well, okay, I do wanna use this guy right there. I wanna be sure that I have room for it and that it is kind of important. It has a place of importance. So I think that works. I've got these three. I do like how that kind of took up. I had thought maybe these three um, seashells could, these are seashell sequins, but what I may do is when I put the blue sequins down, I've got these blue ones that I thought could go under that scenario, and these teal ones be, that would kind of match that palm tree that would kind of go under here. Although there's blue, there's this blue house here, so let me put a tiny little bit of glue right there so that doesn't move around much. When that goes into an album page, it's not going to be a problem, but uh, I may want to take a photo of it. Okay, so I want to use this little um, piece from Bramble Fox, maybe in conjunction with a piece of fruit. I'm gonna leave that dry fitted there. I like the color of the leaves and this kind of goes with that. So we shall see. Now, let's pull, this says love the sunshine and it's great, but I kind of used take the scenic route instead. So I'm just gonna stick this down back on the sticker sheet. And I have this little row of fishes that is awfully cute. And it would be cute if we weren't gonna do the sequins down there. So I am gonna do the sequins. I don't think there's room for that. I do have this, well, I have this little thing of ice creams. Maybe that would be better right up here. Okay, that's good. And then this, okay. So for now, that fruit isn't gonna go up there, but I may layer in some bits of fruit kind of right behind the frame. go. And then this one has a leaf attached to it. So I get that color there without having such a big piece. And we'll put that one for use someplace else.
There we go. Okay, now I have a, a flare that has pineapple. I don't, and then I have this just kind of orange one and it could go, it would kind of be pretty, I think, with the blue sequins built up around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that kind of right there and have, I'll have it break the line and then the sequins can flow over it. And I was maybe gonna do these there, but how about if I did these kind of coming out from under the boat and layered on top of each other. I've got orange and kind of an orangey yellow and a pink. They kind of go nicely with the and these will kind of stay fanned up so I can probably slide some of the uh, blue sequins under them. Get some of that glue off of there. Okay, so I like the colors there. And let me see if I can do any um, of the fruit layered kind of off to the side here. There. And then I'm going to do a lemon on a different level. Okay, and I have the grapefruit. So the colors of the shells are reflected in the colors of the uh, citrus fruits here, so. Let's see, this one can go right there. So it's three different fruits on three different levels. And I've got this leaf that could go there, but I think I'm, I'm not gonna complicate that one with that leaf. The, le the blue leaves are in these two um, squares. Do I want that one there? We'll see if I need to add any more. Now, I've got that exact same blue in this flare right here, which is a rainbow. And I'm gonna put it over here by the palm tree because it kind of seems to, to go there. And because we, his name is Barrett and we call him B, um, his, you know, spirit animal is a bumblebee. So I'm gonna put this here and just kind of let it stand alone. Now, let's go through and see what else we can, um, we can find. I like this arrow that says favorite summer moment. And that could kind of go right there. Um, I'm using a lot from, from there. There's another um, strip, word strip that says, uh, summertime is the best. And I should be able to fit that in somewhere. Uh, not having any luck peeling the uh, the backing off of this. Okay. <laughs> Should I do it as part of this 
cluster. I hate to have things out off on their own when they can be part of a cluster. Okay, so there. That works. Now, I'm going to leave this tray alone for the moment, and I'm going to go through the stickers. I'm going to put that down as having been checked. Um, there's Makes Me Happy in red. Um, it's kind of too big. Uh, I, I've, I've kind of done myself out of being able to do the, the, um, the stapled, um, I'll show you these banners. There's like three banners stapled on top of one another. I may be able to fit something like that right here, and that'll be my nod to Adam. And what I have to do is find the right uh, papers to do that. Uh, let me see if I have, some of these sticker sheets have banners on them. Um, let's see. This one has a little tag that says sunshine, a tab rather. And so I can kind of do this and then the little tags, the little um, banners could go underneath there. I should cut this into two, but I'm trying to get things used up. So, I know that if it were just hanging around and um, if I cut it in half and use it, I would, yes, the good news is I would have one more to use. And the bad news is I would have one more to use and it would be hard to keep track of. So, I made an, an executive decision. Okay, here are some banners. There are some triangular banners here. There are some tickets along here. Um, there are some beach balls there, some squares there. A One thing that's um, attracting my attention is this tab right here which I'm thinking could go over here on the side. If I put it here, it's close to the blue house that is a very different color of blue. If I put it over here, it's right next to the palm tree, and that color makes sense. And I don't, you know that I'm not, you know, kind of a matchy-matchy, sort of person, it, things don't have to match. But if you can make a, what might otherwise be a jarring color difference, kind of, if you can de-emphasize that by doing this, by positioning it a certain way, then that just kind of makes it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Now, I have no idea. I, wanted, I want to do a word strip on there, and I haven't picked any out. Um, I'm, at the moment, I'm not going to use these banners because they have uh, a color scheme that is just not, uh, not uh, right. And this is the same thing. Let's look at this. See if there's a color strip, um, a, a word strip that works. Actually, I can, doing good, bloom, baby, bloom, living with purpose, strong, brave. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, on here, there are some triangular banners, and there are also some banners, the, they're banner stickers, and they, 
they have arrows on the other side of them. But I can cut those arrows off and I can put little pieces of foam in between when I kind of stack them. Okay, so this, these are the ones, the ones I've picked are ones that have uh, an, an acceptable color scheme, a color scheme that will make sense. Okay, I'll put this sandy one on the bottom and then I'm gonna put a foam sticker there and I'm gonna kind of lay that one sort of like that. And I'm gonna put another piece of foam here. And I'm gonna lay this one sort of like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna, it's very sticky and that's photo paper, so it should stick without the aid of any, anything. What I do wanna do though is, and I should have, I should have done this beforehand. I do want the, the um, staple. So let's see how this works. I'm just gonna do a couple staples there in this, just in this top one. And when I put this on here, it'll look like the whole thing was stapled together. Okay, so just a little tiny detail, but it kind of mirrors what Adam did, so I kind of like it. Okay, there we go. And I've done my, one of those anyway. So that's there, that's there. Let's look and see if there's anything else here. I love the toucan. And is there anywhere I can do a toucan? I can't. Um, there's an arrow. I think I've got enough. I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm ready to do the sequins and that's it. But I would like a little word that goes there or, or something. So how about, well, there's handsome on here. Um, how about the word totally? Let's see if that could make sense. And it's green, which is picking up on the green of that palm tree. So I think that's cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this, I don't, think there's anything on the rest of these. Oh, there's some kind of cute things here. Follow your dreams, but that's actually too many words. Um, game day, teammates. Not, not for this page. There is this chipboard sheet that has some small red accents that I kind of like. And so I thought maybe I could work those in somehow. Maybe run them down the side there. I've kind of gone off um, off book here as far as echoing Adam's page. There is a 
tiny red. I hate to take it out of this um, paper because it'll fall, and, uh, fall all over the place. There's also an orange one. So I'm gonna kind of sneak in here and I'll deal with the fallout. <laughs> Literally, it'll be fallout later. And I'll just kind of toss that up there. I like this arrow, uh, maybe on this flare. Okay, and this tiny red arrow, I'm gonna go ahead and let it be kind of leading into this one. That really stands out. And it's, the, the red items are in the uh, squares where his, his uh, swim trunks are and they're red so that kind of that kind of works okay i'm going to shut the video down for a couple reasons you probably don't want to see me place all these sequins and also my phone just told me that it's running out of power so i need to um make sure that i can stop everything and get it get it all loaded before that happens and i will um fill just these areas and like i said i'll i'll put um you know a few i'll show you kind of how i'm gonna do that i'll just put a bunch of dots around and then i'm gonna put the sequins that I'm going to use in that area into my bowl and I'm just going to start pulling them no matter the size um they'll just I'll just start stacking them and then when they the first layer is dry I'll stack some more on top of that and this will get filled up with these blue sequins. So you can kind of tell, and I'm gonna do the same thing down here with the teal sequins. And I'm gonna kind of pile it around the sign so that it looks like the sign is stuck in the little pile of sequins. So. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you like this, and I'm, I'm sure you saw as I went along, I'm making pretty good progress on my sticker sheets, and another thing I'm going to do after I get the sequins in is I'm going to cover up the two photos, but leave the embellishments there, and I'm going to sprinkle with both... Um, where is it? The Nouveau Gold uh, Spray and the white um, Dina Wakely Gloss Spray. So it'll have kind of an orangey gold and white sprinkles on the craft paper and on some of the embellishments. So let me lift this up and get that close so you can see what I have so far. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I may try to sneak in another layout with this, uh, my, uh, with this scrap backwards kit because there's enough left in it and I have photos that would go with it. And I have this washi tape that I would like to add to my kit. And I want to use this washi tape. I want to do a layout similar to the one that I did for Scrap Squad um, when I did the uh, 
sample for Scrap Squad. I love that design. And it takes a while to do, so I may do that part of it ahead of time, and then we'll do the rest together. So thanks for watching. Bye.